What's up everyone, Reclam here, back with another reaction video. I know it's been a while since I've done a video in general, especially a reaction one. But, I actually really enjoy this rapper. Um, <clears throat> this is a song where he's responding to comments and what people thought about his other song, um, White Boy. Which, I thought was a pretty nice song. Um, so... Without further ado, let's get into it. First time I've heard this song. Lately everyone been talking crazy. Feel like everybody's got some to say. They misinterpreted my good intentions and expected I was just gonna step away. If there's a heart to pump and there's a breath to take, then I will bite my tongue as long as I'm awake and they don't have the guts to make a dumb mistake. I'd rather crash a car than never touch the brakes. I built this in house. They're the kind of people that be dying for exposure. They're the kind of people that get mad and lose composure. They're the kind of people that are never going forward. They're just the ones, the ones that are looking for apologies. Hate real loud, but they follow me screaming at the top of their lungs. I'm the scum of the earth and the same damn breath trying to preach about equality. Back before I wrote the song on race, they all ignored that I had something great. They tried to edge me out, they didn't hear my bars. They tried to tell me that I wasn't built for fame. Fast forward to what I'm paying. I ain't spending all the chain. I'll get my mama house, I'll get my dad a car, I'll make my sister rich, I'll never work again. And this hater is so underwhelming. I'm conditioned for all the abuse. Seeing the reaction videos. All blowing up and you're welcome for all of the views blow up my twitter y'all just keep making me bigger y'all just keep well, showing your trigger i feel called out i keep doing me all ain't nothing to even consider man i built this f***ing house i'm the kind of person making music with a purpose you're the kind of people that be hating on the surface i'm the kind of you ain't used to the kind of make you nervous yeah back before i even wrote the record i can see this coming like a fortune teller read a calm see don't make a skilled sailor so i thank the heavens for the stormy weather okay fast forward to when we're old and gray i'll be looking back at when they posted hate and it will hurt a bit but it was worth it when your dream is getting hurt no matter what they say i try to that I love us all, and the way I did it left him so appalled. I used a broken arm to try and break their walls. No matter what they say, they know it took balls. I surveyed the land and I found a location. Unloaded the lumber and pounded the stakes, and I blended the bones of the people who hated with blood and cement. Then I poured the foundation. I built the frame with all my guilt and shame, and then I chiseled my name in the date in the basement. I carved my initials and all of the boards and the beams that are needed for structural greatness. No record label, no distribution, no cosign, no publicist, no manager, no teammates, no money to make up my budget with, no groceries, no studio, no booking agent, no bucket list, no PR. Are no marketing, just fans. Man, we built this f***ing house When my days end and it's vacant And they bury me with that only key My biggest fans gonna break in With a Ouija board and a box of chalk Drop pentagram, hail Satan Try to bring me back from that wooden box Y'all tried to fill my grave with Then I'll sit on the roof with the rifles I hid in the fridge And I'll shoot at the men on the ridge Who are coming to undo the work that I did On the block on the highway that leads to the crib And put sensors on all of the boards on the bridge So they know when they're coming to empty the clip Then they'll cut all the bodies and cut off the skin Then connect all the pieces with needles and pins And attach it to ten feet of branches and twigs And then plant it in modulus hands in the wind and I'll stand there and look at this that we did that we never imagined we do because of them. Our blood and sweat and tears went into what we built till we were begged. So we use blood and sweat and tears of enemies to build our flag. We built this house, we laid these bricks, we set these traps, these flames we lit. Our haters doused in gasoline, they brought the try and torch us with. <laughs> Let them hate, dog. Everyone will have something to say, dog. Their opinions don't mean trying to judge your engine by your paint job. Gravestone, I'm a cheap death. There's too much I ain't seen yet. They think that I got it way over my head, but I feel like I just got my feet. Wet. We're trying to dream more and sleep less. Avoid the pills when we're depressed. Remember to not be too hard on ourselves. If we cut deep enough, we are bleed red. Man, you never know when it's time to go. Heaven's open when the bars are closed. So seize the moment. Don't leave it hoping you'll breathe tomorrow. You could be a ghost. I'm living my life. The finish line is right in front of me. Made a fishing wire, so I'll never see it till it's too late. When God shakes my hand, please celebrate. I like it. Um... Actually, let me stay full screen for just a bit. Um, I know, I liked it. Um, you know, he's spoken there about how he tried to say that he loves everyone. That was part of the white boy where he goes through and he talks about how Caucasian people, while not necessarily being discriminated against, at the same time, you know, it's nothing compared to what 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 other people have felt and what, uh, you know, Europeans and American colonists have done to other people. But he does say in there, you know, he can't feel guilty and he shouldn't expect to be expected to feel guilty about things that his ancestors did and that he did not. Um, you know, and he brings that up. I've seen a couple people say, you know, no, well, no one thinks like that. And the thing is, you know, as as a Texan, all right, I get called out every now and then, you know, 
by people I know f- from other states that say, oh, so like Texans, a lot of racist in there, right? You know, and it's, we really don't. I mean, I have friends that are redneck and rednecks aren't racist. They just, they say stupid things. They have pride in the South and they say stupid things. But they're not racist. It's the situation of, you know, if they know, just for an example, I have never seen this situation happen and I, you know, don't know any time that it would, but if, you know, they had someone in their city that was um, African American. They'd probably point them out, you know, I wouldn't say they'd use the N-word, but they'd, they'd point them out and be like, oh, yeah, you know, there's the black guy, you know, they'd do something stupid like that. But the moment someone from out of town came and tried to spit racial slurs or anything at that person, I can guarantee you every single one of those rednecks that people would call racist would stand up, look at the person who did that, spit in their face and say, you know, the one stereotype that is true, we got guns. You can take your racist bullshit and leave. Because we got guns. Um, You know, in the comments of White Boy, I saw someone say that, you know, they thank, wanted to thank uh, Tom McDonald for the song because they're a white person from Germany and if they express any type of pride in their country they are labeled a Nazi and I think that's just horrible I mean yes no World War II happened alright and so did World War One. the World Wars where it was typically Germany versus a lot of other people um, those happened but that doesn't mean that the people living there today that want to feel pride in their country that's their country that has reformed and become what it is now that doesn't mean they're a Nazi but there are people who will say that they are it's not you know everyone in the world but there are people and while the informed typically do not think and act stupidly the ones that do think and act stupidly, the ones with the loudest, are typically the ones with the loudest voices. They're heard more often than not. The news, for instance, you know, I don't ever like talking about the news, but the news is always one side or the other. There's a couple stations that still report middle ground and they don't report on an agenda. But the news does report on agendas these days for the most, for again, except for like maybe one or two news stations off the top of my head. For the most part, the news is an agenda based platform. And the Democratic agenda based platform would label that person as a Nazi. They'd label they t- quite often do honestly label people like from Texas as moronic rednecks that are all racist they say that if you vote Republican then you're a racist asshole and an idiot you know so it's not everyone but it's the idiots that have a voice and those are the ones that people f- hear and feel and he calls those people out You know, other people try to say that, no, no, he's trying to call out everyone. No, he's trying to call out the idiots that do it, you know. And this is actually a very heated topic for me, so I'm going to end this here. Um, But you can always join my Discord to find out more about how I feel on this subject. Uh, Because I will probably talk about it every now and then on Discord with the people on there or a couple of uh, friends yeah, no, I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave this episode here. As the red text at the bottom says, please go subscribe if you're new. Uh, leave the video a like if you enjoyed the reaction. Um, don't forget to turn on notifications for whenever I do subscribe or whenever I do post because I will be p- posting a lot more often now. Um, I'm going to try to 
take my Sundays and make a ton of videos for you guys and just post them throughout the week. I want to actually try and make 14 videos on Sunday and post two videos a day from now on. We'll see how long that schedule lasts because, you know, I've never been good at keeping schedules for us. Uh, but we'll see how long that schedule lasts. Um, I will be doing a couple more reactions, though, because there's uh, the death battle that's coming up from Screw Attack is freaking, it's fucking Dark Side versus Thanos. Thanos, whichever one you want to go with. Uh, and I've been waiting for that one since Death Battle became a thing. Like, since I first discovered Death Battle, I've been looking forward to Dark Side versus Thanos. Uh, and so, since it's finally coming, I'm going to react to that with you guys. When Helsing Abridged, Ultimate Abridged, Episode 9, Part 2 comes out, I'm going to react to that with you guys. Because I accidentally watched Part 1 uh, beforehand. And I'm trying to not react to things that I've already watched. Um, if you have anything else that you would like me to react to, leave it in the comments or, again, message me on Discord and ask. Discord link in the description down below. And... Yeah, no. Uh, if I get asked to do it by you, by even just one person, I would more than happily go react to it as long as it's a YouTube video. Gonna keep that in mind. Uh, anyway, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.